Okay, so just a quick explanation before I start recording this video. I am using Task Scheduler because if you have password on your uh, computer, you cannot put the uh, script into a startup because it will not start until you uh, enter the password. But if you have a Task Scheduler and add a system startup, it will start whether you are logged on or not. So there you have it. Okay, so hello to you. My name is Vlad for Evla.com and this will be a quick video quick because uh, I have only five minutes because uh, for some reason again uh, TeamViewer thinks I'm using this for illegal purposes. Anyway, uh, this will be a how-to on how to create uh, automatic startup of your miner if Windows decide to update and restart because that is a theme that Microsoft goes by these days. Uh, you need updates, yeah. I wonder uh, what it would be like if this thing was uh, not uh, my miner but a nuclear power plant. Eh? Anyway, what you should do is start Task Scheduler. And we will be creating a task. So, there will be library, okay. What you should do is click uh, Create Task, which we will call um, Miner. Start, okay. Now we will choose uh, this option, run whether the user is logged on or not. Uh, we do not need to run with highest privileges, but you can take this, but it's not necessary. Triggers, we will add a new trigger. Not on a schedule, but... Uh, mm, on a startup, why not? Actions, we will add a new action, and this is where you specify a program, browse. Now my one is uh, in my desktop, which is this PC and then desktop, then ETH miner. Just a second, I believe this one. And I will be choosing this dual. There are no arguments because this is only a batch file. Okay, conditions. Now uh, this, you, this thing you can leave. This is a PC, so what not. And the only thing you need to untick is this because uh, we do not want to stop the task if it's running for three days because if it has been running for three days that is awesome um, what you should need to do next is uh, enter the password and that is pretty much it now when windows decide to reboot they will start this task at a startup and that is pretty much it now you can choose a logon and you can choose this user, so, but we need it to start up, so there you go. And that is pretty much it. And that way, if Windows decide to update and uh, reboot, uh, you will be able to continue seamlessly. Well, after the updates, but for example, uh, in my case, uh, this thing, uh, yesterday it turned off at 5 and until 7 I wasn't mining. And that kind of sucks. Now I will be restarting the machine to test it, but uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Bye bye.